Well, hello guys. I have something fun today. I'll be sharing and reviewing popular Korean sunscreens and sunscreen sticks. And then I'll also be testing how well these sunscreen sticks perform against the traditional sunscreen lotion and creams with a UV camera. Hi, I'm Dr. Jenny Liu. I'm a board certified dermatologist and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you enjoy learning about hair and skincare content as well as product reviews, well, you're in the right place. And I would love it if you can give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Before we get started, I just wanna thank Style Korean for sponsoring this video. Style Korean is the number one worldwide K beauty platform that really allows you to purchase Asian-based products straight out of Korea. And you can learn more about all the products I will be discussing today more in the description box below. All right, Korean sunscreens are super trending right now and the hype is real. Asian sunscreens are popular because they're really lightweight, they sit nicely on your skin and they don't feel heavy or sticky. And they leave minimal white cast or residue on the skin. And really they are formulated ideally for daily use. And as a dermatologist, you know, we say the best sunscreen is the one that you will enjoy using that make you want to use on a daily basis. And I find that Korean and Asian sunscreens in general are those. And also Asian as well as European sunscreens have a lot better UV filters that we currently just don't have approved here in the US, especially when it comes to UVA filters. There are a lot more options that are more stable and work better. And we know that UVA is a big contribution, not only to skin cancer, but hyperpigmentation and the development of fine lines and wrinkles. Now, because Asian sunscreens are really designed for daily use, I find that all of them are suitable for most skin types, but there are some nuances with the way they feel, with the formula, as well as the ingredients that I think are worth highlighting, which is what I'm gonna be doing today with the products that I will be reviewing. Also keep in mind that because they're meant for daily use, majority of them are not water resistant. So just keep that in mind with the summer coming that if you are going to be spending more time outdoors, you're going to be swimming or sweating. If you are going to be using Asian based sunscreens, look for ones that are water resistant. All right, so let's get into the product reviews and I'm going to start with sunscreen lotions and creams. So the first product is from Tokobo the bio watery sun cream that is SPF 50 and PA 4 pluses. So this is a chemical sunscreen that contains really nice and advanced UVA filters, including Mixoral XL, Uvenol A, as well as really great UVB filters like Uvenol T, Tenazorb and Polysilicone. In addition to niacinamide, it also contains a blend of Asian medicinal herbs that have soothing and anti-inflammatory properties. So suitable for blemish prone skin and those that are suffering from irritation. Now, be aware that this sunscreen does contain fragrance. So if you are sensitive to fragrance, this might not be the best sunscreen for you. It is also cruelty-free and vegan. Texture-wise, it's a really lightweight gel gel cream that absorbs super fast. And of all the sunscreens that I'm gonna be sharing today, I find to be the most lightweight. So I think it's most suitable for those with oily and combination skin. This sunscreen leaves absolutely no white cast and layers nicely under makeup. If you were to wear this alone, I think it leaves a slight dewy finish, but not super glowy, but it's definitely not mattifying. Next sunscreen is from Jumiso, the Ah Sun Airy Fit sunscreen that's SPF 50 and PA4 pluses. This is also a chemical based sunscreen that contains very similar UV filters, including Uvenol A and Uvenol T, Mixoral XL, Tenazorb, as well as polysilicone. So essentially the same type of filters. And it is also alcohol and fragrance free. This sunscreen contains niacinamide and antioxidant vitamin E along with humectants including glycerin and hyaluronic acid. It is also more of a gel cream texture but compared to the Tacobo bio watery sunscreen it's not as runny but it's still really lightweight and fast absorbing. It leaves no white cast and would layer nicely under makeup. If you were to wear this alone it also provides a little more of a dewy finish but not mattifying. So because of that I think again it's great for those with oily combination skin or those with more sensitive skin looking for a really lightweight sunscreen to use in the summertime because it is alcohol and fragrance free. The next sunscreen is also from Jumiso, but it's the Ah Sun Airy Fit Daily Moisturizer with Sunscreen, SPF 50 and PA4 pluses. Now this sunscreen compared to the last one because it's a moisturizer and sunscreen in one, it's gonna feel a little bit nourished, but it's still super lightweight and fast absorbing. Filter wise, it contains 
similar ones, including Uvenol A and Uvenol T, along with Tenazorb M, which is a hybrid filter that has good broad spectrum coverage. It is also fragrance as well as alcohol free. It also contains niacinamide along with glycerin and vitamin E, as well as soothing bamboo stem extract. Texture wise, it's gonna feel more like a light cream or lotion, but still fast absorbing, not sticky, not heavy. It does not leave any white cast on your skin. And again, would layer nicely under makeup. It does provide a little more dewy finish compared to the last one. But again, your skin is not gonna look super glowy or wet. So this one, I think it would be great for anyone that's looking for more nourishment, like those with dry skin, looking for a lightweight sunscreen for the summertime, or someone who's looking for a moisture moisturizer and sunscreen in one. Going down the line is one of my personal favorite sunscreens and it's from Skin 1004, the Madagascar Centella Hylusica uh, sunscreen that is SPF 50 and PA4 pluses. It is a chemical based sunscreen that includes similar filters including Uvinol A, Uvinol T, Tinazorb M, and Escotrinazole which is another great filter that protects against UVB and lower wavelength of UVA. In addition to niacinamide, it also contains a lot of soothing and calming ingredients including centella and green tea, as well as vitamin E as antioxidant. It's hypoallergenic, it's alcohol and fragrance free. And texture wise, it's a light cream that does not feel heavy, but yet at the same time, your skin feels supported. And I have more dry skin, which is one of the reasons why I personally love this one so much is that it feels just really nice and nourishing on my dry skin. And because of that, I do think it's a better fit for those with more dry skin, normal to dry skin. Now, as far as like how it feels, it's still really lightweight and fast absorbing. It leaves no white cast, layers great under makeup, and has a slightly dewy finish, but not as much as the previous ones that I've mentioned before. So I think this is great if you have dry skin and sensitive skin looking for a more nourishing sunscreen. Last sunscreen lotion or cream that I'm gonna talk about is from, again, Tokobo, and it's the Vital Tone Up Sun Cream that is SPF 50 and PA4 pluses. This is a hybrid sunscreen. It contains titanium dioxide along with Uvenol A and T. In addition, it also contains niacinamide, hyaluronic acid, and vitamin B3 along with fruit extracts. It is fragrance, and I find it to have a pretty Pretty strong floral scent. It also has a pink hue at baseline that gives a more instant brightening or tone up effect that you can actually find in quite a few Korean based sunscreens. For me, it's very reminiscent of the American based Alta MD UV Luminous that gives a brightening effect. And really, I think the idea behind this brightening type of sunscreen is that it makes your skin look instantly refreshed and glowy, but a lot of the times this pink hue helps to offset some of that sallowness, so that yellow undertone that is commonly seen in Asian skin. This type of tone up sunscreen is not always my favorite because I think depending on the formula, it can make your skin look kind of pasty white, like a lot of the mineral-based sunscreens do, but in a more elegant way, if that makes sense. So your skin doesn't look white and pasty, but does have a more fair complexion. And so depending on your skin type, if you're someone who has more darker skin, these type of tone-up sunscreens may actually end up making your skin look kind of white and pasty or ashy. It's certainly not my favorite, but for the right individual and finding the right formula, and the right undertone, it can provide an instant brightening and glowing effect. Texture wise, this is a cream and I find of all the sunscreens I've talked about today, it is on the more nourishing thicker side, but still absorbs really quickly, is not sticky and actually has a semi dewy, but slight mattifying finish at the same time. And with the color correcting effect, it can look nicely alone, but also can be great under makeup. And I find that it actually helps to increase the longevity of your makeup. So is actually a great primer. And because of that, I think it's gonna be better suited with more normal dry skin. With oily skin, you may like it, but you may find that it could feel a little more heavy for your type of skin. Okay, now let's talk about sunscreen sticks because they are also really trending right now, especially a lot of the Asian sunscreen sticks. Sunscreen sticks are essentially solid formulations of sunscreen. So in a wax-based stick formula, almost like a balm. And these are great for a few reasons. Number one, they're super convenient and 
and super easy to travel with. I mean, they're compact. You can literally put them in your pocket, put them in your bag. And because there's no liquid formulation, you can literally go through security and have like five of them, right? You don't have to worry about getting caught by TSA and them confiscating your sunscreen. They're great for application. And also I love it really for reapplication. And many times with the way they're shaped, it really allows you to have good targeted application, especially if you're someone who finds that the traditional sunscreen lotions, when it gets in your eyes, can burn. The stick formula, because of the wax base, don't travel as readily. So you can literally use the sticks to apply around your eyes. And that can be one trick to get around sunscreens that burn around the eyes is apply your sunscreen using a sunscreen stick. Many times too, these sticks are great to apply over makeup because that's also a question I always get is how can I apply, reapply sunscreen without messing up my makeup? And I find that currently my favorite weight are sunscreen sticks. And many times I don't wear a ton of makeup, but when I do use these sticks, I find that there's minimal transfer of the makeup that I have on my skin. And lastly, I really love the fact that many of these sunscreen sticks do have a mattifying effect. So as an individual who has oily skin or just find that their skin gets a little more shiny throughout the day, these sunscreen sticks not only will help to reapply sunscreen, you know, provide continuous sun protection, but also provide some mattifying effect that's going to be more cosmetically desirable. So the first stick is from Beauty of Dasan and it's the matte sunscreen stick that's SPF 50 and PA4 pluses. And this is one of the most popular trending sunscreen sticks I've seen on social media. And this sunscreen stick contains chemical filters, including Uvenol A, T, and Tenazorb M. It also contains soothing ingredients, including mugwort and green tea. It also has sebum control silica powder that actually helps to provide mattifying effects. So this is actually by far one of the most mattifying sunscreen sticks I've used. It's really ideal for those with oily and combination skin who are seeking a sunscreen stick that's going to help with some protection but also that has a smooth velvety but mattifying finish but this stick is not going to make your skin feel heavy greasy or sticky in any way so really nice again for those who want a little more sebum control and one that feels lightweight great for those with oily and combination skin the next product that i also find to be fairly mattifying with a smooth and velvety finish is from Mary and Mary, the vegan Bakuchiel sun stick that's SPF 50 and PA4 pluses. This stick also contains a blend of mineral and chemical filters, including Uvenol A and T, polysilicone 15, Tinazorb S, and titanium dioxide is the mineral filter. It's alcohol free, but does contain a very light fragrance. In addition, it also contains bakuchiol and various different types of peptides. And you know, bakuchiol and peptides have some anti-aging and you know, uh, uh, benefits and that helps to improve the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. So if you're looking for a silky smooth velvety sunscreen stick that has sebum control, but also targeting the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, certainly this would be a great one to consider. So this I think is suitable for multiple skin types, but especially if you're looking for sunscreen with additional anti-aging benefits, and if you have oily and combination skin or just want a smooth mattifying finish, this would be one to try. This sun stick that is from Tacobo, the Cotton Soft sun stick that's SPF 50 and PA4 pluses. I also have been seeing quite a bit on social media. It contains chemical filters, including Uvenol A, octocrylene, octanoxate, as well as Tenozorb S. It is also fragrance and essential oil free. In addition, also contains cotton extract and other plant-based ingredients that are soothing and anti-inflammatory like ginseng and turmeric. But I do find that compared to the Beauty of Dasan matte stick, it is not as mattifying and has a slightly dewy finish, but again, very, very minimal. So it's great for those with sensitive skin, those who are seeking a sunscreen stick that will apply nicely over makeup, whether it's for the mattifying effect or if you have oily and combination skin, that want a sunscreen stick that's going to have a smooth velvety finish that's not going to leave your skin looking glowy or dewy. This would be another great option to try. And last but not least is the one from ABIP, the Quick Sun Stick Protection Bar that's SPF 50 and PA4 pluses. This contains chemical filters including octocrylene, Uvenol A, and Tenazorb S. Also contains soothing ingredients including green tea and centella as well as hydrating ingredients such as ceramides and glycerin. This is going to be by 
by far the most nourishing sunscreen stick that I've talked about today. Because of that, I think it's better for those with more normal to dry skin. It is also fragrance and essential oil free. I personally love the curved shape, fits nicely along the contour of the face and allows you to firmly grip the sunscreen stick without it like falling and slipping from your hand. It almost reminds me of like sunscreen stick in a gua sha shape, you know? Helps to kind of provide some lifting and sculpting effect. It is moisturizing as I mentioned and does leave your skin with a, more, a slightly dewy finish. It is not in any way mattifying, but it does not make your skin look shiny or greasy in any way. But your skin is gonna feel more supported so it doesn't have that smooth and velvety finish. So again, great for those if you have sensitive and eczema prone skin. And one more thing with these sunscreen sticks, we know that in general, sun care products, when it comes to getting the adequate protection for the true SPF and PA value, how much you apply really matters. And we do know from studies, when it comes to lotions and creams, it's about a half of a teaspoon for the face and neck. And so when it comes to sticks, what we recommend is that you want to apply the sticks four passes to get the adequate protection. So that means like on your forehead, each area, you wanna go over it four times. On your cheeks, you wanna apply each area of your cheek four times to get the adequate protection. So right now I'm gonna do a little test to demonstrate the efficacy of these sunscreen sticks and how they compare to sunscreen lotions with a UV camera. So the UV camera, when you have really no sunscreen, the skin is gonna look a little bit lighter. And when you have adequate coverage, your skin will look dark. And as you guys can see, when I have sunscreen on with the lotion, the face is pretty dark. Some of the lighter spots are really from makeup, but my skin is adequately and fully protected. Now I'm gonna go in with the sunscreen stick. And as you can see, using four passes of the sunscreen stick, I'm getting similar coverage. And now with the split face, you can see that I'm applying sunscreen lotion to the left side of my face and then the stick to the right side. And as long as I'm getting four full passes, if not more, I'm getting equal and adequate protection using sunscreen sticks alone. So sunscreen sticks can provide really great protection, but again, my favorite way is still applying my foundation layer of sunscreen using a lotion or cream, and then using these sunscreen sticks throughout the day to reapply sunscreen, especially if you're looking for an elegant way to reapply over makeup. All right, guys, so that is it for today's video. I hope you found this review helpful. Let me know if you tried any of these trending products and which ones you've liked. You can find more details about each product in the description box below and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.